Hello and welcome back to Mog the Week. In this clip, the Equalities Minister, Kemi Badenoch, takes questions on the recent Commission on Race and Ethnic Disparities findings. To provide some additional context to this clip, here is a tweet from Diane Abbott congratulating the cancellation of Tony Sewell, the Commission Chair. Sir John Hayes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I refer members to my entry in the Register Concerning Higher Education. Uh, will the uh, Right Honourable Lady in accepting my congratulations for her robust counter to the small minds that have criticised the small report, uh, the Sewell report, small minds that can't tell the difference between disadvantage, disparity and discrimination, by the way, will she ensure that every government department affects what she said today and what this report uh, proposes? Because education is at particular risk. From Brighton and Hove Council's destructive and pernicious racial training for primary school teachers, which still hasn't been dealt with despite a cursory inspection from the Department for Education, to Nottingham University, who appallingly, my old university by the way, who appallingly have withdrawn Tony Saul's honorary degree, uh, while giving it to Chinese Holocaust deniers, by the way. That's the, that's the old university. Will she issue that kind of guidance to, to each government department to stop this nonsense about critical race theory and white privilege? Uh, Madam, Deputy, Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, the Honourable Gentleman is right to uh, make the point about distinctions in language. Discrimination, disparities, disadvantage, they all mean different things. They can correlate, they can be related. And now that we have an action plan, now that we have something that is written, I can assure him that this is something that we will be propagating across government and across uh, not just in Whitehall, but also beyond Whitehall. He is right to raise the case of Brighton and Hove. In fact, I read in a paper today a black mother who has complained about the way that their anti-discrimination training is actually discriminatory. I think he is right to raise the case of um, Tony Sewell who unbelievably had an honorary degree withdrawn because he did not believe that this is a racist country. That is an example of the sort of silencing that we are seeing of ethnic minorities across the board. It is, it, it, it is terrible, and I have to say that I was disappointed to see the member for Hackney North um, and Stoke Newington congratulate Nottingham University for cancel culture. I think she will find that those sorts of actions prevent ethnic minorities from participating in public life. Click the link in the description or the comment section if you would like to see the full exchange, including Diane Abbott's response. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.